welcome. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Owatonna Today Show. In, whoop, whoop, whoop. Much better. Oh, I was moving around a little bit. No, it was the camera. It was not your eyes. So that's the important thing to remember. We are very glad you're with us. It is Friday, March 20th, and we are very pleased also to be able to provide a springtime open um, as we uh, came into our Owatonna Today Show. And I know it's felt a little bit like spring leading up to it. We've had some unseasonably warm weather, but it is officially spring now. And so the Owatonna Today Show reflects that. We are, again, very glad you're here with us today. We've got a great show coming up, but of course, we would not be coming to you at all if it were not for the generosity of our Owatonna Today Show supporters. Uh, please patronize these uh, businesses, support the organizations. They include our premier supporters, the City of Owatonna, Express Employment Professionals, the Owatonna Public Utilities, and the Steel County Food Shelf. Primary supporters include Amy Swain Hearing Centers, Brookdale Senior Living, Sterling House, and Clarebridge, Little Theater of Owatonna, Interlude supporters are Abraham Consulting Technologies, Bremer Bank, Bredna Bednar Mortgage Office, Glenn Mager and Tim Thomas of the Breck Mager Funeral Home and Medford Funeral Home, Carlson Brandstead and Company CPAs, ERA Gillespie Real Estate, Fairview Animal Medical Center, Horizon Eye Care Professionals, the Owatonna Business Incubator, Snap, Found Snap Fitness, Owatonna Foundation, Steel County Historical Society, Steel County Transitional Housing, the Third Hand Incorporated Video Productions, and TPS Insurance. And again, please uh, tell these folks thank you and do support them. If you or someone that you know might be interested in show supportership, please get a hold of Leanne by giving her a call, 390-5751, or emailing owatonatoday at charter.net, and she'll be happy to get you that information. As I mentioned, great show coming up today. When we come back from our break, we will be talking. It is, it, it is truly a sign of spring, too. It is the KOWZ KORN Home and Recreation Show. Matt Kettleson will be here with us a little bit later on in the program. Show supporter, Express Employment Professionals. Let's take this break. We're coming right back. Hi, I'm Jody Voison with the staff at Fairview Animal Medical Center, your other family doctor. Fairview Animal Medical Center is a proud supporter of the Oatana Today Show. Juvenile fire setters cause a lot of problems uh, with young adults and children in our community. To help um, people and parents or anybody with their uh, juvenile fire setter, uh, we have a program down here that will help you get information to pass on to your juveniles and young adults about fire setting and the, the common problems with that and the dangers of juvenile fire setting program. This is a public service information from the Owatonna Fire Department. Welcome back. Thanks again for joining us on this Friday, March 20th. And as I mentioned, Matt Kettleson joining us. Hello, Matt. Hello. Nice to see you as always. Thank you for having me. And it's spring. Oh, it's in, finally here. And that means Home and Rec Show is I know. in the air. <laughs> it's going to be here one week from today it starts. Oh, very excited again. And we were just talking a little bit before we started the growth, uh, the attendance, the vendors wanting to be here at this show has just grown and grown and grown over the years. Yeah. We're thinking we're at about year 14 now. Yeah, year 14 of the show. I okay. can't believe it's been going on that long. And, yeah. uh, you know, it gets a little bit easier. It's it's fun every year. I yeah. really enjoy this time of year. You know, it's like you said, spring is here, yeah. which, you know, who doesn't like? The best part about a Minnesota winter is a Minnesota spring. I <laughs> Except for the grit. Once we get past the grit and the brown, then I'm really into yeah, it. Yeah, no but kidding. Yes. I know, I agree with you. So um, this is the three-day show. It is premiere. You have done such a great job. Thank you. Um, at your company, you and yourself, and the people that you work with and your company with putting on a really, really great show. So let's talk first kind of the specifics, and we'll come back around again at the end and remind people of that, but starting a week from today. Yeah, it's a week from today. So the show is the 27th, 28th, 29th of March. That's okay. a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. Friday, 3 to 8. Saturday 9 to 5 and Sunday 10 to 4. So you've got plenty of Lots hours of to come by. Yep. It's of course free to get in, free parking. Uh, every year the booths get a little bit better. They, okay. People decorate a little bit more, they add plants, you know, things like that. Yep. The Stepping up their get, game, raising the bar. Yeah, the people get friendlier in the booths every year too. It's always a, a lot of fun. Uh, it's a three-day show. 
and anybody can come. If you're looking for window siding, doors, gutters, cabinets, of course, you can come and see those things there, but yeah, we've got so much part. more. We've got, you know, boats and vacuum cleaners and lawnmowers and hot tubs and you know, there are people with cash and carry items, you mm -hmm. know, cleaning products and Mary Kay products yeah. and knives. Uh, so, we, I mean, it, there's so many different things. One of the, you mentioned that um, our show is full. Well, yeah, we have been sold out. One of the advantages for people walking through the show is we can get more new, better things every year. Mm -hmm. It's not just window siding and doors and gutters that you see at a typical home yeah. show. We do try and get those categories that we don't always have. Yeah. Uh, pest control. Our, the people okay. that walked through our show said, we would like to see a pest control booth. Okay. So we have Plunkett's is there. Uh, people said they would like to see patio furniture or you know, mattresses or tree trimming, you know, okay. especially last year that was one. We need tree trimming at the show. Well, now we have two tree trimmers that you can come and look at. And the nice thing about having a very successful show allows you that opportunity to go out and say, hey, we have a successful show. It's tried, it's proven, it's tested, here's our attendance. And they're asking for something yes. that you, uh, a service or a product that you provide. Exactly. And we want the type of show that you walk through and the booths look, you know, beautifully decorated, that people really took time yeah. to put a nice booth together. Because uh, if you took time to put a nice booth together, you know, maybe it'll show the kind of work they're going to do on mm -hmm. somebody's house. If you yeah. just throw any old booth together, is that indicative of what you know, kind of work they're going to do. It's a very nice show and the variety. So how many vendors do you end up with then we to fill it up? We end up with right around 200 vendors. Wow. It's, uh, it's hard keeping everything straight, <laughs> you know, but we've gotten a lot better at it okay. now. And and uh, everybody's got their, their map and, and where they're going to be, make it nice and smooth for yep. setting up. And then, of course, the show starts at at 3 o'clock on Friday. Yeah. We actually ask all of our vendors to be set up by noon on Friday. Yeah, so they're ready to and go. And then the show starts at 3 and the reason is then for three hours we can go through and do a final clean of the home show or the, okay. the facility. You know, people drive in with cars and stuff gets on the, yep. the, the pavement inside the arena. We want this to be very clean for all of our guests that come and walk through the show. Okay. And it's designed, it's, it's nicely designed not to just to, to be on the weekend, but if somebody... Um, the weekend itself, um, Saturday and Sunday, but to really capture some of those folks who maybe if they've got something else going on are saying, hey, when I get done with work on Friday, this is where I'm going. Absolutely. This is what maybe, I want to do. Maybe it's going to be a beautiful weekend and you want to come and, you know, get your, your shopping done mm -hmm. on Friday and yep. look around for, you know, let's say you're going to put a patio in. Well, yep. you can come in on Friday and kind of see the different vendors that are there, there, get some ideas, go home on Saturday and hang out in your backyard and kind of feel, get a feel for what you want and then come back again on Sunday yep. and, you know, say, hey, we want to go with this particular vendor and here's what we want to put in. We try and make it easy for people. Yeah. The nice thing is too, and I've attended many times over the course of the years, um, it, other than a bl out and out blizzard, which I should knock on wood so we don't have any such thing, but I don't think the weather really it may or may not play a part. Even when it's nice, people are in the mood to look at the kinds of things that you have at the home show. So it seems like they're still there. So we could have a very, very nice day, but they're kind of going, yeah, I'm itching. I'm itching to look at boats now or, you know, whatever the case may be. So they're still coming to the home and wreck show. Absolutely. We found that we've had great weather and we've had terrible weather and we've had everything right in between. Yeah. And our attendance is pretty consistent from year to year. It's Amazing. about the same. But one thing I have noticed, and one of the reasons I think it's the same is, you know, if people want to put in a deck, it, a deck isn't something you just say, oh, let's put in a deck tomorrow. Right. It's something you think about for, Plan. in some cases, many years. Yeah. So maybe you see somebody at the home and rec show, you know, two or three years ago that puts in a deck or that those paver um, patios. And now you're and ready. And now you're ready, yeah. you know. So yeah. it, it really, I've heard so many stories like that yeah. from our vendors. It, it is interesting how it, the whole thing works. Yep. Just want to mention as folks walk in, they're going to see the Girl Scouts there. You have a nice little partnership with them. They help yep. to click off attendees yep. and so that you do get a good, because it's a free show, so you do get a good idea of how many attendees you have. They're also there able to sell Girl Scout Absolutely. cookies. Absolutely. Attendees will have that as well, and who doesn't love seeing the Girl Scouts and their cookies? I always come <laughs> home with five or six boxes. Yeah. There's a lot of fun going on in addition to the, uh, to the just seeing the vendors that are there. You've got giveaways. Absolutely. Two. We'll be doing tons of giveaways. Okay. Uh, we're giving away a weekend to Tuckaway Resort every day of the show. Okay. 
You know, so we'll give away a weekend on Friday, we'll give one away on Saturday, we'll give one away on Sunday. Right. And we have other stuff throughout the day that will be, be given away, you mm -hmm. know, so you can come and win a lot of stuff. And I know a lot of our vendors give away their own prizes exactly. as well. Exactly. Yeah, a lot of them have drawings in their, in their own booth. Mm -hmm. Now, something that's new this year, and we want to make sure that we show our viewers that they're going to be able to pick up when they come in, is um, this nice little program. Yeah. I, which it really directs them to where they want to go. Yeah, it's our uh, Home and Rec Show Vendor Guide. And basically, we put this together so that people can find their way around the show very easily. If because you, there again, you've been listening to feedback, and they're saying, yep. you know what, I, I, where is that booth? I want to find that, and it's yep. all right here. If you open it up, here's a copy of the, the layout of our East Arena. Mm -hmm. So this is our East Arena map, yep. and then we also have a vendor list right on top of it. So if you go, well, oh, who's in booth 101, you can mm -hmm. look right there, and it says Owatonna Grounds Masters, exactly. booth 101, and so on and so forth, so you can find who you're looking for. We, have, of course, have the West Side in yep. there as well. Uh, you know, ads. Everybody Some loves. Some of your vendors have chosen everybody to. Everybody yep. loves ads. ads. Um, but you know, if you're looking for direct TV or you know, window siding, doors, gutters, and then we also put in a uh, a directory. Everyone who is in our home show, we have their name and phone number phone in number. our book here. So if you want to keep this with you for two weeks, two months, two years from mm -hmm. now, when you might be looking for a particular product, you'll have their number. And then of course we have a notes page. Yeah. You know, there are, you know, the reality is there are several people that do windows, siding, yeah. um, landscaping, etc. So maybe I want to take some notes Absolutely. when I'm talking with this person or that person yeah. about what they're telling me and then make I can go notes. back to those. Contact name, who you like. That's a then, really good idea. Yeah, we wanted because to Because I know my husband and I are like, who are we talking to again? Which booth was that? So that's excellent. Just to, just a little mental note as to, uh, yeah. as to who you were talking to about what. And so. if you come to our show and you go through the guide and say, you know, Matt, next year we would like, you know, this in the guide. Please let me know. You know this is our first year doing it. And... We like nice to addition. get better every year. Nice addition. Mm -hmm. um, we do want to mention one thing, and that is your big deals. So big deals is something that you feature on your stations. Yes. Um, and so, or no, on the internet for yep. your stations, but you're actually going to be right there. Yeah, it's uh, we have gift certificates to restaurants, stores, golf courses all over southern Minnesota, and we have them on sale at deep discounts. A $10 gift certificate selling for $7 to, you know, tons of different restaurants, golf courses. If you want to go play golf, you can buy a round of golf normally, 30 bucks. We have it on sale for, you know, 30% off. Okay. And you just go to cowsfm.com and click on big deals at the store. The, the show, you can buy them right there. We'll process the nice. order right in front of you and hand them to you on the spot. Uh, we could keep talking for a long, long time about this, but the heart of the matter is you just need to go because it's a great show every year. Um, again, tell us where and when. It's at the Four Seasons Center, the best venue around. I know I'm out of time. They're the best people to work with. I love the folks at the Four Seasons Center, so thank you. Friday, <laughs> nice Saturday, for them. and Sunday. Next Friday, Saturday, yep. and Sunday, the 27th, 28th, and 29th. Join them there. They will have a great show for you. Thank you again, thank Matt. You. Have a very successful show, and Thanks. I know you will. We'll take a break for our supporters, and we'll be right back. What would you do if you or your family had to go to bed hungry every night because you did not have enough food to feed your children or yourself? This is Stormy Traum from the Steele County Food Shelf reminding you that March is Food Share Month. So far this year, we have provided food to over 500 Steele County residents, and the need continues to grow. Please help us keep our shelves stocked with nutritious food by donating money or non-perishable food items to the Steele County Food Shelf. Our goal is to raise $100,000 this March. No one in Steele County should have to go to bed hungry. Thank you for your generous support of the Steele County Food Shelf. Hi, my name is Dave Efforts with TPS Insurance. We're here to handle all your insurance needs. We are a very proud supporter of the Otana Today Show. From ABC hit show Shark Tank, Damon John, motivational speaker and best-selling author Liz Murray, and legendary actor-comedian Dan Aykroyd. Register online at refreshleadership.com slash live. Hi, this is Doug Johnson at the Otana Business Incubator, a proud supporter of the Otana Today Show. We'd like to welcome you to the Incubator. If you're a small business, whether you're existing or a startup, we can help you with office space, manufacturing our warehouse, and free confidential counseling. 
Welcome to Bremer Bank. I am Jason Eiberg. And I am Shannon Pedersen. Bremer is a full financial services bank. We invite you to stop by Bremer Bank and experience the Bremer difference. You, you are, are always, always welcome, welcome at Bremer. Bremer. Hello, I'm David Einhaus with the Oatana Foundation. Thank you to all of our donors who have helped make Oatana a better place to live. Will you join us today with a financial gift? Oatana Foundation is a proud sponsor of the Oatana Today Show. Welcome back on this Friday, March 20th. Happy first day of spring, Betsy. Thank you very much. <laughs> How Looking are you? forward to it. <laughs> I know, I know. Well, we've been we've been blessed through March with some really nice days. So yeah. you know. Yeah, and you know, last was it last year or the year before we had uh, 12 no inches spring. or whatever on May. Yeah, yeah. Right. So I'm still holding my breath. No, no. Well, <laughs> I'm not going to put the cushions out on the furniture yet. <laughs> Whatever. If you think it's going to jinx it or if you think it's going to help it, you do whatever. Well, we're very glad to have you here, of course, from Thank Express you. Employment Always Professionals. Thank you. Always excited to be here. And you are actually just back from an international leadership conference, conference. for your company. Absolutely. Express International has uh, our, our annual international leadership conference, which happens across the United States at different, obviously, locations each year. This year it was Nashville. Um, it was, a, as usual, a wonderful conference. They, they invest a tremendous amount of money because they believe in certainly con uh, being able to support all the franchises with continuing education, uh, the, the most uh, uh, up-to-date trends that are happening, both in the workforce and the workplace, uh, to be able to provide exceptional speakers on, uh, you know, moving forward and, and, again, things that are going on, trends, and motivational speakers. Okay. Uh, so uh, it was so a very exciting time. Come back refreshed and refreshed revitalized and, ready and full to go. information. And, and you got it, ready okay. to go. And uh, not only that, again, providing tremendous tools and support for us, which is great. Yeah. Uh, that's one of the reasons that I have been with them for 30 years this year, as a matter of fact. Exactly. So, yeah, it's pretty exciting. Because there's um, a lot of good things that happen in the background of a, a company such as that. So we see our little piece of the puzzle here, and it's very positive in Owatonna and in the other areas that Express um, offices are located. Exactly. But it's nice to know that they are always there behind you and providing these great yes. tools for you. I, it was wonderful also because um, I was recognized, of course, for being in, in uh, a franchisee for 30 years because they have been in business Congrats. only 32 years. Oh, wow. And so I was their 27th franchise. They have okay. well over 750 franchises throughout not only the United States, Canada, but also um, the globe. So you can and truly say you've been with them. Yes, I have been with them. And help support them and help grow some of the programs yeah. uh, from the very beginning, if not help create some of those programs. So that's been an exciting ride for me. It is. Uh, and not only that, but we just now surpassed Express International as a whole in the United States is the uh, sixth largest employer. Express Employment Professionals is the sixth largest employer in the United in States. In the United States. Wow. Yeah. That is saying something. That is amazing. That's huge. Absolutely amazing. Right. That's and I can huge. see in our 30 years, uh, we have put out well over between three offices, uh, four at one time, uh, we have put out probably over 90,000 W-2s. Mm. So and I've not seen right people there. just once, I've seen people several times, which has is been huge. a blessing. Yeah. yeah, it's been, you know, our goal is to help people succeed. It's to be able to help people, to enable them to be profitable yeah. by providing career opportunities and staffing solutions that are yeah. driven by our passion. And uh, I think we've done that. I think we've done that every day. And mm. uh, I've had great people that I've had the privilege to work with and my teams through the years, so pretty fun. That is very fun. Yeah. Well, congratulations on the 30 years. Congratulations to Express. Thank you. I started, I just want you all so. to know out there in TV land that I started when I was 16, you know, right <laughs> after getting my driver's license, oh, okay? Oh, everybody you know, tries that start joke. To drive, right, start to drive, start a business. <laughs> they all seem to go together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, isn't that the way it goes? Yeah, right. Sure, okay, whatever. All right, we'll let her have her little fun there, her moment. <laughs> That's okay. So some of the speakers that you had, um, we're going to be getting a chance to have locally. So at your conference? Yes, you are. We have a simulcast. This is our fifth year. It's very exciting. It's been very successful. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I was surprised. The average uh, for the franchisees that uh, are willing, you know, that, that step forth and say they want to be able to provide this, uh, the simulcast, which is Wednesday, April 15th, okay. uh, they said the average attendance is 40. And we've got in, in wonderful Owatonna, 
which I love, uh, we have an average of 80. So wow. it doubled the average, yeah, which is pretty fun. It, it, it says a tremendous amount for our community. It and, really and does. And their further, the, you know, the desire for further education and, and uh, moving ahead. It does. So the fifth year. Fifth year, the fifth year. Fifth year. We have three speakers again. We have Damon John, who is the... Um, owner and uh, entrepreneur of FUBU, which is for us, by us. He's got a fascinating story. We, we got to see him again at ILC this year. Okay. And in, uh, it, it, it's a story that started with clothing that was around rappers. Yeah. And he happened to be there at the time when rappers came out. Okay. So, and J.J. Cool was one of the big guys. So yeah, that's kind of what sticks in my head yeah. as to what that's about, but I'm sure he has much more to say. Well, I have to be honest, it could that. be my age or, you know, maybe I'm just that, I'm just not into that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the fact of, as far as rapping, but I know him from Shark Tank. Yes. And uh, I know a lot of people know him from Shark Tank. Yeah. So. Uh, so anyway, he's going to be there and telling a great, great story. And then we also have Dan Aykroyd, which was, again, also a speaker of ours. And he, he's a fascinating man, extremely bright, extremely well-read, uh, political. But uh, he's, he's got a message about change and trends and that kind of thing. So okay. he's very, very powerful. Looking That's forward to him. Interesting. And then also we have uh, Liz Murray. And Liz Murray, I don't know for any of you ha who ever seen the movie called From Homeless to Harvard. And that is her story of how she came from, obviously, a homeless background as a young girl and mm -hmm. worked her way through with support and, and uh, you know, meeting people at the right time that were there to be able to help her mm -hmm. and just helping herself. A great story. She's written memoirs before uh, wow. of forgiveness, survival, and my journey from homeless to Harvard. It's amazing. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to all three speakers. It should be great. The actual simicast itself, the actual showing, is live. That's why they call mm -hmm. it a simicast, not a webcast. Yep. Uh, and it is being shown in Chicago. So uh, we will be raising funds uh, again this year, uh, asking for donations for those who participate uh, for beds for kids. Okay. So we're pretty excited about that. Um, again, it program. is going to be at the History Center. It will okay. be from 730 till 1130. We would love it if anyone and everyone would like to come and join us. We are asking, there is no uh, cost to this event. However, if you do make reservations and you do cancel, we will be charging a $25 same day cancellation fee okay. just because of the expenses. Yeah. And also because uh, with, when we get so many people to sign up for it because they're so anxious to see this, and it's again a great event, mm -hmm. is we want to make sure that there's chairs available yes. and uh, that when there's a waiting list that people are able to get on there. Um, and suddenly when you don't show up at the last time, that's hard to do. Yeah, so yeah, it we want to make sure everybody that wants to be there is, we make it available for is them. Is able to be there. Exactly. It is able to be there. So some of the speakers, we were talking a little bit ahead of the program, um, some of the speakers in the past, again, we definitely want to look at the lineup for this year, um, but have, <laughs> it took us a little while to think of one gentleman's <laughs> name, Terry Bradshaw. Sorry, Terry, but we couldn't think of who you were, but... It has that, nothing that, to do with their age. That football well, it has to do with me not knowing much about sports. But as soon as you said the brothers who, you know, are yes, quarterbacks, and yes. I was like, yeah, I can help with that one. That's Peyton Manning. Yes. But um, Peyton uh, Manning was one. Terry yeah. Bradshaw. Terry Bradshaw, I think, was last year. Okay. Uh, we've had the gentleman uh, that is the owner and CEO of Whole Foods who okay. has spoken before. Uh, we've had the gentleman who was the, um, oh, my gosh, head of... Uh, the idea to creativity department for Apple Computer, oh. who came and spoke uh, another time. Just some great, yeah. they've had just great, the opportunity for great lineups. Yeah. Great lineups. And very diverse, I think, in their, yeah. in the, probably yes. in what they talk about and yes. how they motivate and how they are right. to make you feel when you leave. Yeah. No cost to it. Again, you will be raising funds there. Um, but how does one register? They can go online okay. to, uh, to refresh leadership dot com okay. forward slash live and register there. They can call our office at 455-3002 okay. and uh, let us know the names of the how many and the names of the individuals that are coming. Okay. We would love to see them all. It's going to be again at the History Center. Um, There's some continuing ad credits there for are those in the Two hours of continuing ed credits resource. for SHRM. Yeah, right. Yep. Human resource credits. Okay. Continuing education. So that's education. a good thing to know. So I, I, I would guess that drives some, some people here, but otherwise it's just a great lineup of topics for anyone, anyone. to come. Quite and see inspirational, here. motivational, yep. informative. I mean, it's it's just a great opportunity for zero dollars. Yeah. Can't so beat that. Can't yeah, beat that. on exactly. April fifteenth, tax day. So after yeah. you've done all that hard work, you owe yourself something. Well, if like you and if you're a manager of a department, this is a great opportunity. I think for you know when you're looking for a, a, a top shelf. 
uh, inspirational, motivational to bring your team members to, mm -hmm. this is it. So okay. don't miss the opportunity. Yep, so go online. You've been very well attended before and good for you for being so again. And it, it is a testament to our community that they have responded in the way that they have. And, Absolutely. Um, come to attend this and, and whereas in other locations it may not be quite that. Exactly, and uh, we'd like extensive. to, you know, thank Express International certainly for supporting us with mm -hmm. this, and and also, uh, I, I again in my 30th year, I feel really good that Express once again, uh, locally is able to bring educational um, opportunities, and uh, not only that, but training opportunities. We will also have some books uh, by the by the people that are coming okay. that they have uh, authored, and uh, some giveaway prizes from past. Um, speakers okay. and their books. All right. So well, very nice. Go online, look it up. Call Express Employment Professionals here in in Owatonna if you need more information. But do get signed up um, because it sounds like it's going to be a great event again. So thank you very yeah. much for joining us and have a successful one. Thank you. I, I think by the it. time we're by the time you're on again, we will have probably passed the event, so you can kind of give an update as to how it went. Fantastic. All right. Thank look you, forward Betsy, to it. for joining Thanks, Deb. us. Appreciate it. We'll take a break for our supporters, and we'll be back to Bye, wrap Mom. it up for today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. You're in Portland. <laughs> Hi, Warren Abraham, Abraham Consulting Technologies, your one-stop technology shop. We support the Otana Today Show. Otana A voice you can talk to We're growing with you With you in mind In everything we do Oh, a ton of public utilities And a few announcements to wrap it up for the day The uh, area Oh, no, I'm going to AAUW, I'm not even going to try to figure Remember what that stands for, but um, local AAUW is um, hosting um, an event. It is tonight, Friday, March 20th at 7 o'clock at the Owatonna Arts Center. Um, they are going to be, it's, it's unique. In the fall, the superhero portraits uh, will be displayed at our hospital as part of the Healing Arts Program. Um, the author uh, and artist of Our Mama is a Beautiful Garden will be coming to the Arts Center this evening to talk about it. And it is um, Breast Cancer Superhero Portrait Project. So very interesting. Attend that this evening if you are able. Alina Healthcare, Health, Home Care, and Hospice is offering a five-week grief group for families and individuals who have experienced the death of a loved one. Group members will explore how loss impacts each of us and know that they are not alone. That is beginning next Tuesday, March 24th. Um, and we'll be going through April 28th. It is on Tuesdays from 10 to 11.30. Uh, a number of very important topics. Uh, the first one being grief impacts each family member, children and adults. It, it will be held at Homestead Hospice Lower Level Conference Room. If you would like more information, please call them at 977-2856 or email joan.ward at alina.com for registration. Steele County Historical Society is welcoming genealogist Arthur Lewis Fennell on next Thursday, March 26th at 1 in the Wenger Room. The subject is secret, Secrets in the Parish Register, How to Find Genealogical Records in Church Records. Interesting. Public is invited to attend that monthly meeting, um, which is the first and third Tuesday of the month at 10 a.m. at the History Center. Admission to the lecture is free for Historical Society members and $2 for non-members. Please join us next week on the Owatonna Today Show when, uh, among other things, we will be uh, having our City of Owatonna update. Mayor Tom Kuntz will be joining us. And uh, Vonda, I know, is here talking about the upcoming Women's Conference at Pillsbury. So have a great weekend. Enjoy your first day of spring, and we will see you next week.